Have you seen a demolition company blow up a skyscraper without affecting any of the other buildings around it? Obviously science and, you know, explosives are used to control the collapse, but how exactly do you demolish a building so that it falls inward? Well, the trick here is to implode the building rather than explode it. This way, it collapses down to its footprint. That's the area defined by the perimeter of its structure. An implosion only takes a few seconds, but the preparation to get it right takes years. The people who control building demolition have a pretty cool job title, blasters. Before any of the explodey stuff happens, though, the blasters have crews take out non-load-bearing walls and weaken support columns. And, of course, before loading the explosives, the blasters have to decide what type and how much to use. There's all kinds of explosives used on different materials, but let's boil it down to two of the most common, dynamite and RDX. Good old dynamite is basically an absorbent stuffing, like a pillow that's been soaked in combustible chemicals so that it burns really quickly. It's usually used on concrete columns, stuffed into boreholes that have been drilled. The resulting outward pressure is so immense that it creates a shock wave that shatters the concrete. But when a building's got steel columns, that's when we break out the RDX. It can expand up to 27,000 feet per second. Its explosions can slice through steel, splitting beams in half. So the blasters decide how to position their explosives of choice through the building. The blasters clear the surrounding area because, for reals, some human people actually try to sneak closer for a better view. Then the blasters sound sirens, warning of the imminent detonation, three times before they charge the lead line and push the fire button. Then. Kablammo! The building collapses inward. Generally, blasters set it up so that when columns blow, the sides fall toward the center, crashing against each other. Usually, this begins with the major support columns on the lower floors, as well as a few on the upper stories. The weight of the higher floors falling causes most of the damage. It's gravity that really brings the building down. So, I've gotta ask, have you ever seen a building implosion? Tell us all about it in the comments below. And for more explosive entertainment, yeah, yeah, see what I, yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more brain stuff.